question. Can a person be perfect? <sighs> Perfectionism is so weird in the sense of that it like it, it feels like it's good for you, but in the in a weird way, it's not. It's like so. It's such a double-edged sword because you. It helps you to succeed, but then it it holds you back at the same time. Well, I kind of understand just because, um, like, I get a pretty serious like guilt complex, mm. and yeah. I don't know. It's been there for a long time. Um, I'm not really sure where it came from, but I think from a young age, it was put upon me that like, success is everything and if you don't succeed, then you're terrible. For me, my perfectionism comes from an internal voice that just like keeps reminding me that what I do isn't good enough or not right, and it's it's so it's such a burden to like have that on you all the time, you know. And yeah. you know, for the life of me, I, I wish I could get to go away. Like, <laughs> if it's like the one thing that keeps holding me back, and it's me. Is perfectionism a vice or a virtue? Pam Scott, a friend and colleague, surveyed adults asking them to answer the following question. Am I a perfectionist? How would you answer that? On the survey, many, many people said yes. So listen to this. Am I a perfectionist? One person said, I want to get it perfect the first time, every time. My inner critic is constant. It is my judge, my warden. Like, how could you not be driven to try to be the best that you can be? However, what we're dealing with comes from a sense of, like, anxiousness and, like, it's more of a fear of failure than a, than a drive to succeed. Jenny Burnett and her colleagues showed in their research People with a fixed mindset are demoralized by successful role models. That comparison, that gap where they don't see the bridge is undermining to their confidence. I have a really big problem with comparing myself to other people. Um, not, not, for the, not for the sake of like, I'm jealous of them it's more that I'm shaming myself in comparison so it's right. like some people here at the school are just amazing artists mm -hmm. and I had a really hard time when I first came to my undergraduate here dealing with that because I came from being like the number one artist kid in my high school to then being one of the many t very talented people the whole comparison thing for me manifests itself in so many different ways like it's in body image it's in art it's in you know success in life how far along in life you are you know and how you stand financially it's like it finds it's it's a weird creepy like little thing that finds its way into like every like little aspect of who you are it just can just sucks on your identity so much with what I 
do, if that makes sense. Just be happy with... It's, it's hard though because I'm not where I want to be yet and I do kind of wonder if if I'll ever get to a place where I'm like, yes, this is good and I'm happy now because honestly I don't see that in my future. It's weird, it's like you, you work so hard to just try to be happy and like, but happiness isn't about work. I know it's, it's terrible. But at the same time, it's like, this is what's gotten me here. Mm -hmm. So part of it is I'm afraid to let it go. I'm one of those people that just really likes having a plan and really likes having everything figured out from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And it's reassuring and I can refer to the map and I can refer to like what I'm supposed to be doing. But life isn't planned out and it's not linear. A wise person once told me that life is what happens to you when you're not looking or not thinking about it. So it's like, if you are so focused on what's in front of you, sometimes you can completely miss all the great stuff that's happening already. In a fixed mindset, effort and difficulty, people say, make you feel dumb, incompetent, inadequate. I'm on a worldwide crusade now to change our value system away from effortless success as the ultimate and toward effortful success as the ultimate. Not long ago, someone from another country said to me, in your culture, Struggle is a bad word. I said, you know, you're right. Why shouldn't we revere struggle? It means we've worked hard towards something we value. When you catch yourself in that mindset, you have to say, okay, I'm in this mindset now. Time to stop. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But you have to recognize that you are in that mindset, and a lot of the times that's the hard part. But once you realize your own patterns, then it becomes a little bit easier to deter or redirect. And, but, you know, that comes with practice. By trying to correct perfectionism by taking small steps every day, you're trying to change the perspective of the world, of your world. and. It's um, it's it's slow going and it's hard. It's hard as crap, <laughs> and it sometimes doesn't always work every day. But I personally feel like it's worth it. We're all perfectly imperfect. 